Well, LAUSD looking to bridge a teacher gap. 8% of students in the LA Unified School District are black, but only a very small percentage of their teachers are of color. KCAL's Amanda Starantino introduces us to a couple with a plan to change that. You know what, class? Yes, yes, yes. You know Jamal what? Randall, or as his fifth graders at Windsor Hills Elementary School in LA call him, Mr. Lee, page 85, is one part of two percent of black male educators. A lot of black males have bad experiences in school themselves, me included. And even past that emotional and mental background, there comes other big barriers. Teacher salary is is not something <laughs> that's that's heavy, right? It's not a big thing. Um, but we do, you know, I mean, yeah, it's been tough. I'm just saying it's been tough, yeah. Working to change that are doctors Peter and Didi Watts, educators themselves. A great possibility that students uh, can go through their whole K-12 experience and not have one black male teacher. Their idea for Teachers Village sparked during the pandemic when educators were leaving the workforce. How do we support teachers who are working with young people so that they can persist in the field? So we train in the soft skills in areas that you don't get in a teacher mentoring program. All within a block of each other in Pico Union is a training center with multiple facilities to get their teaching credentials and learn life skills like financial literacy. But the big part of retaining teachers is a need for affordable housing. We wanted to be able to provide housing for them to live in while they're in our program, charge them minimum amount to live so they can focus on becoming great teachers. The couple owned this house but moved out recently so they can offer it to men in their Teachers Village program. Cooking together, they can be talking about lesson plans, challenges of teaching, but really building community. This house is just the beginning with more planned right in their backyard. Now this property here is just the first of eight that are planned for these teacher villages in Los Angeles that will eventually house 40 teachers at one time. That equates to about 120 new black male teachers being placed in Los Angeles, moving the needle from 2% in LA to about 23% black male teachers teaching in the classroom. It's a 10 year goal to build multiple of these spaces for black men to live in and to be taught to be good teachers right here in the community. Working with them on debt reduction, savings, home buying, so that when they get their job as a teacher, they have that uh, first, second year teacher salary. Uh, they're in a better position to be able to go and purchase a house in the neighborhood. All right, who would like to start reading first? All of this work is going right back into our classrooms with teachers like Mr. Lee, who is a fellow in the teacher's village. They just taught me so much that I feel like I've never actually learned from any other experience as a teacher that really benefited the way that I teach now. Basically how I incorporate all of my learnings to all of my students. It's been amazing. Because an investment in our teaching workforce is an investment in our futures. You're doing a great job. Give me some depth. Yep, that's what I see. Reporting in Los Angeles, Amanda Starantino, KCAL News.